Hello everyone, today we will look into the laser creation features that the Dynamic ERP provides you. Last time we learned about how to create a laser with Dynamic Accounting ERP software. Now today, let's dig into the other features that it provides you. First of all, we need to log in into the Dynamic Accounting ERP software. As you can see, I am currently opening our cloud-based software. You need to keep your login credentials here and enter the software. On the left hand side, as you can see on my screen, there is a quick access section. Let's extend the section. Now you can see that just below it is the laser creation. Click on laser creation and on the right hand side, we can see a tab has opened. This particular page is for basic information. You can easily create a laser account using only this page. However, in this video, we will be exploring the other sections of laser creation. Following my cursor on the piece, here on the left side, beside the quick access, we can see a list of contents. These contents are of this laser creation tab. Here we can go to the contact details first. As we click on it, its contents open here on the right side. Here we can fill in our details and make the laser more specific with contact details. First of all, we can include the name of the contact person, his or designation, address, email address, citizenship number and mobile numbers. For example, let me create this detailed laser of SNS group. Let us assume that Ram Adhikari is the respective individual that we contact for the transactions. So in the name, we need to insert Ram Adhikari in designation. I am keeping his designation which is accountant. Address, let us assume to be Kathmandu. Email address, I have inserted. Here in the citizenship number, I am inserting a demo number here. The mobile number is here. We can also record several other mobile numbers and telephone numbers here. As we fill in this detail, we can also click here in the add member section and input the contact details of another person that could be responsible for the transactions as well. Moving on to the next section, we have other details. In this section, we can input the bank details where the transactions need to be done. For example, let me keep ABC Bank. Bank account number needs to be inserted here. Here we can insert the type of laser, for example VAT in this case, and the rate is 13%. Likewise, we can fill in all the other details of additional costs, type of income expense, etc. according to the requirement of the transaction. In this area, we can also register detailed address, province, district, palika, toll, and ward number. Moving on to the next section, we have document attachment. Here, we can attach documents that can be utilized for verifications. For example, we can input the citizenship, PAN certificate, company registration, tax clearance, and audit reports. Once you select from the disk drop down the type of file you want to attach, you can click here on the choose file and upload the files from your computer or mobile phone easily. If you want to attach more documents, we can simply click on add documents here and attach more files. By filling in all these details and clicking on save here, we can successfully create a detailed laser account for any party. Like and share the video and also follow us for more tutorials and contents. Also comment down below on what you would like to learn next.